Yeah, the Beatles were big car fans. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, they had between 63 and 69, they had 15 minis. That's a huge amount of minis. They also had minis to be in, incognito. So they had plain minis as well as these mad Radford minis. So if you want to be an incognito in London, you drive a normal mini or you drive like an Austin 1100, a few of them had those, but you wouldn't have a massively big flashy car if you wanted to slip out of a nightclub into a car and disappear quietly. I think it was the fact they were in London. Uh, you could drive around London in those days. You could go from one side of London to the other in half an hour. Can't now. Um, so they were great city cars. They were they were luxurious. Uh, they were they were great to drive, um, and they were much more subtle than you know John Lennon's White Rolls Royce, for example, or the or the psychedelic Phantom. I think it's the, the spirit of an underdog a little bit. In, in racing, it was always the underdog, no one expected it. And then it appealed to, the, the actual car, the Mini, appealed to so many different types of people, from, from the Beatles to race drivers to the average person. I think it was a car that just transcended different, different eras, different classes and different people. I mean, my grandfather obviously involved in Formula One and, and racing through the 60s was there was a, the, the golden era of racing, as some people say, there was definitely kind of celebrities around the family house. My father tells me stories about, you know, people like the Beatles, but also Steve McQueen sort of staying in the family house. So it was uh, definitely a, a rock star kind of era of, of uh, famous people with the Cooper family. Paul McCartney's is the oldest car. That's a 1965 Austin Cooper S that was the first type of Radford where they did what they call a, the original speedometer, what they call the binnacle dashboard. The simplest form of coach built mini is the green one behind us. Well, that was his sort of, I suppose, flower power, psychedelic time. Um, and around the same time, um, John Lennon had his uh, long wheelbase Rolls Royce uh, Phantom, which was black. He had that car painted in psychedelic colors as well. Uh, so it's all around the, the time. And also, uh, George Harrison's bungalow uh, was painted in psychedelic colors. Not, not to match the Mini, but basically it was all around that era.